How's it going guys? Kenny G here coming at you with another video. Today we're going to be talking about how to set up free McBoot on a memory card so that you can soft mod your PS2. First thing I'm going to do is take you through the parts you're going to need. You're going to need a PS2 FAT, a USB drive of some sort, whether it's SD card or actual USB drive. Then you're going to need the network adapter for your PS2 FAT. You can see that it takes an IDE drive. Then you're going to need your 8 megabyte Sony PS2 uh, memory card and then you're gonna need an IDE hard drive now you could upgrade to a SATA drive but that's gonna either require you uh, buying a network adapter that's already been modified to fit a SATA drive because the the factory one only takes IDE drives or you're gonna have to buy some sort of adapter to squeeze in there the other thing to note is while free McBoot does work on PlayStation 2 slims the process of actually making a free McBoot memory card can only be done on the PS2 fat so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna come down to the bottom left here in Windows 10 and search for disk management. Now, once you're in disk management, you're gonna look for your uninitialized drive and just initialize it. This is if, this is in the case that you're using a drive that hasn't been initialized, like a brand new drive. Now the other case is you have a hard drive already existing that's been in use, but you want to use it for this modification. So you're going to go in and you're going to delete the volume. Make sure you're doing it for the right drive. You do not want to lose data. So once it's been set to unallocated, that means you've deleted the partition that's there. Before we get started on using WinHIP, make sure you've extracted all the tools that I've linked in the uh, description below to your desktop. That'll just make it easier moving forward. So the next thing you're going to do is extract the free hard drive boot image to the folder that it's inside. It's going to extract to about seven gigabytes. Once that's done, we can start up WinHIP. You're going to run it in administrator mode. Once WinHIP is open, hit select drive. Confirm that you're selecting the right drive. You definitely don't want to format the wrong drive here. Then we're going to select 48 bit HD loader under options. And then we're going to go to format drive. Make sure it's set to 48 or 28 bit. Then we're just gonna move ahead with the formatting process, which is only gonna take a couple seconds to get through. Okay, so now our drive is pretty much ready. You're just gonna hit okay. And that's gonna take you back to the main screen of WinHIP. You can now see that the drive has been formatted in 48 bit HD loader mode. Just close WinHIP now. The next thing we're gonna do is install HDD raw copy. So we're gonna go back into our folder again and we're just gonna step through this real quick. It's a very fast install. Just hit the agreement on the, the licensing there. And the first thing we're gonna do is scroll down and double click on the very last option, which is select a disk image. Now, if you remember earlier, we extracted a disk image. Uh, that's the image we're gonna be using. So go back into your free hard drive boot folder and then select the image that I, uh, I'm highlighting here the seven gigabyte image Then click continue. Now we're going to scroll down and select the hard drive that we want to use as our PS2 drive. That's the same one that we formatted with WinHIP. Now we're just going to click start. It's going to ask us to confirm it. You can confirm all the details up here in the top left just to make sure that you're writing the right image to the right hard drive. You definitely don't want to make a mistake. Then you're going to confirm and then you're going to be on your way. We're just going to skip through it real quick. Now the format is done. Obviously I fast forwarded that just so you guys didn't have to sit around for five minutes while it does its thing. Next, we're going to go into our other folder here, the free McBoot folder, and we're just going to copy all the files and put it on our USB stick. Now, once all the files are copied over, we're pretty much done with the PC side of things. Now we can begin the uh, assembly process of the PS2. So obviously we're going to be installing our hard drive attached to the network adapter on the back of the uh, PS2 and securing it with the two nuts there. You can just use a butter knife or whatever. You can take your USB stick, plug it into the front USB ports. I think kind of that goes without saying. And then we're going to take our memory card, which should be formatted, and just put it in the first slot. Now we've got our PS2 starting up for the first time. It's loading up free hard drive boot for the first time. It's going to take a few seconds because it's got to boot up the hard drive. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to install free McBoot onto the, um, onto the memory card, which is going to make for a way faster boot time in subsequent boots. So we're just going to give it another second to boot up here. And here you are, we're in free hard drive boot. So first thing we're gonna do is go down to ulaunchelf.hdd. 
now that we're here, just hit circle to start browsing files. Then we're gonna go down to uh, mass, which is, what is that, the sixth option? And then we're gonna go down and hit X on FCMB installer, which is free McBoot installer. Now, once this is up, we're going to hit the R1 option to scroll to the left through a bunch of options. And we're gonna go and we're gonna format the memory card anyways. Even if it's been formatted through the PS2 uh, interface, it's still a good idea to just to do it again. So you might as well just go through the process and wipe the memory card, which I'm doing here. It only takes a split second. Now, once you've done that, you wanna do multi-install. There's no reason to do normal install, just do multi-install. Just please, please just do multi-install. It's gonna make your life so much easier, especially if you want to uh, offer like a copy of this to other people in the future. So just go through the prompts and just confirm that yes, you wanna install. This is only gonna take maybe 30 seconds or less to install this. Let's just give it a second. Okay, so it's finished installing, just hit okay. And then we can just go to exit and just confirm we're exiting. That's gonna take us back to the memory card screen on our PS2. Taking its sweet time. There you go. So now we're back at the memory screen, just hit back and it's gonna back us out to free McBoot. And you're gonna see in the top left corner, now it reads free McBoot, not free hard drive boot. So at this point, we're gonna go to you launch elf and we're gonna copy over just a few more files. So we're gonna go to the file browser. We're gonna go down to mass, which is our USB drive. We're gonna go to install. We're gonna go down to boot and we're gonna hit R1, which is gonna bring up this menu on the right, hit copy, which is X. And we're gonna back out all the way back to the main folder, the root. And we're gonna go up to memory card zero, go into it. Then we're gonna hit R1 again and then we're gonna paste. And it's gonna ask us, are you sure you wanna overwrite? Just confirm yes, and away we go. This is gonna take a minute again to copy over these files, but it's not gonna to take too long. It's about a megabyte, megabyte and a half. In this set of files, I've included the latest version of OPL, which is Open PS2 Loader, uh, which is gonna allow you to basically play all of your uh, backups via the hard drive. Uh, it, it's a good idea to have the latest version. You can have the older versions, but the latest version has better network compatibility. Anyways, now that's, that's done, so we can just hit select, which is gonna take us back out to the main menu, and then we're gonna power cycle the system. Okay, so our system is just rebooting here. Just give it one second. Here we go, free McBoot. And you're gonna see it's gonna boot up way faster than the last time. And there you are, we're already in. Free McBoot instead of free hard drive boot. So now we're all set. And now you're, you're, you're completely set to do whatever you want with your free McBoot setup. Of course, you can start loading images onto your hard drive if that's what you desire. You could also set up your PS2 to load images over the network, that's an option. It's all up to you from here. You basically just have to decide what you wanna do. You can do all sorts of things. In this case, I'm just showing you that I'm going through the settings to set up network share, which I have demonstrated in another video that you're more than welcome to check out if you wanna set up a network share to be able to play games over a Samba share on like your local home network. Anyways, guys, that's really all there is to say for the time being. I hope this tutorial has helped you out. And uh, yeah, your, the, all the files you're gonna need are gonna be in the description below. And make sure when you do this whole process that you just extract the two zip files I've, I've attached onto the desktop and you're gonna be just fine. Just step through the video. If you have to pause going through the video, go nuts. And if you found this super helpful, please consider leaving a like. That would help us out a lot. A subscription would help us out even more on our way to a thousand subscribers. So again, this has been Kenny G, and I hope this video has been helpful. Thanks, guys. Hey, guys, this is Lydia. If you like what you see, hit that like button as it helps our channel gain exposure. Also, consider smashing subscribe. If you like our content, it would really mean a lot and helps our channel grow. If you want to interact with us, leave a comment down below or follow us on Twitch at super underscore We'll see you next time.